Hello and welcome again to another edition of Air Force Hockey along with head coach Frank Serratori. I'm Brian German and uh, we've, we're coming back to putting a show together for you after three hockey games. So there's a lot to talk about, Frank, but let's talk about that Minnesota tournament first. You go in, you take on the Golden Gophers, a team that uh, your son plays for. Probably some emotions going through your mind there, but you lose this game four to nothing. I thought despite not making enough offense in the game, I thought you played fairly well defensively. You know, we, we played uh, we played well. The whole thing, Brian. I guess, we, and, and I'll just I'll just scope this whole deal. I mean, um, from the Bentley series uh, uh, prior to Christmas, the Mariucci Classic, and, and through the uh, game with Niagara. I mean, we played with a lot of. I mean, we've just played with energy. We played with spirit. The guys are together. Um, they're functioning as a team. They're acting like a team. They're interacting like a team, and um, it, it's fun to be around. Now, obviously, we want to uh, experience some. You know, we want that to translate into, into, into wins for us in the second half. But I'll tell you what, without that as a foundation, it ain't happening. So we went into in Minneapolis and we played Minnesota. And Minnesota's a good team. And um, I sure would have liked to have landed one to the jaw. Uh, we, and we made some mistakes defensively. Um, we gave uh, their, their fourth line uh, left wing, their 12th forward, his first goal of his career, which I wasn't real happy about. And... and uh, um, we missed a couple clears and face-offs, but like the mistakes that we're making, they're not out of, uh, it's, it's not an attitude thing. It's not a laziness thing. I mean, like we, we've got something uh, yeah, to work with. Uh, like I said, with that Minnesota game, it was two to nothing uh, late. We started the third period with a power play and we need to get a goal there. I mean, we need to score in that situation. And, uh, and then we get a break. Stevie Crew gets a breakaway uh, a minute later. We need to get that goal. We need to land one to the jaw. And, um, uh, that's the most difficult or disappointing thing I think uh, in the game with Minnesota is is we just we never landed a punch to the jaw. Um, but then again, like uh, you know, if you don't mind me going into the Huntsville thing and and, and kind of um, comparing the two games, um, we go into the Huntsville game and we play a Huntsville team that's not a great team, and um, it's not our fault they're not a great team, and um, and we go out and we beat them six to one. And I told our guys, hey, we got the job done. And, um, you know, we beat a team that we should have beaten. And we beat them, we beat them handily, 6-1. to one. We got the job done. And I guess one thing I didn't do the night before is I didn't give Minnesota any credit. I mean, Minnesota came out, had a 2 nothing lead. We had a 3-1 lead in Huntsville going to the third. Minnesota had a 2 nothing lead. In those games, the next goal is the big goal. And uh, uh, on, on Friday, credit Minnesota. Uh, uh, they, they killed off our power play. Their goalie made a save on a breakaway, and they got that next goal. And uh, the next night, 3-1 to one with Huntsville, uh, we go out, we get that next goal, and the next one and the next one, we end up winning 6-1. So, I mean, I guess credit Minnesota on Friday. They were, on paper, they were the better team, and uh, statistically they are the better team, and, um, and they got the job done. And uh, on, on uh, Sunday against Huntsville, we were in the same position, and, uh, and we got the job done. Okay. So you must have felt good, and it sounds like you're feeling better about your team now. And let's talk about Niagara first. Actually, we'll, we'll show you the highlights first. As, as the Falcons took on a team that arguably is running away with Atlantic hockey right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the, the highlights between the Falcons and the Purple Eagles via Jay Ritchie. Four on four will end, and Air Force will have a five on four advantage. With the puck is Turcotte. Turcotte comes in, shoots, tough, makes the save, leaves a rebound, but Fabian is there to take the loose puck away from in front of the Air Force net. Fabian to Kleisinger, back to Fabian. Fabian at the blue line, winds, fires, Chubak makes the save, and he hangs on. Works his way through the neutral zone, flies by one, defender pulls up, top of the circle, passes across for Demers. Demers feeds in the slot for Cruz. Hey, shot, Chubak to save, rebound, try, that's Tony. Thomas signals 30 seconds left to the Air Force power play. Six and a half to go. Scoreless first period. Kleisinger breaks in with Fabian. Fabian shot. Two back save. Rebound. Put back there. That's Ryan Timer. Power play goal. Great feed there by Jason Fabian. His third goal of the season. First on the power play. And it gives Air Force a 1-0 lead. 6.22 left. First period. That's how... The first period is going to end here in Niagara with Air Force leading the Purple Eagles 1-0. Behind the net by Torf to McKenzie. Along the wall, Timer can't control it. It's to Albers at the blue line. His shot knocked down by Torf. Leaves a rebound. Cleared back out by Air Force. Albers will try again down the slot. Torf got a piece of that one. Can't control it. Niagara is up with the puck. Up the near side is Rashid. Rashid with a shot. Pad save made by Torf. Kicks out a long rebound. Controlled out front. Rashid turns, fires away, and scores. 
ties this game at 1-1 with 10.50 left in the second. The far side boards in front of the team benches. Falcons get a takeaway at center ice. Here's Carew. Carew with 10 goals comes in. Centers a pass and Gunner buries it in the back of the net. Falcons take a 2-1 lead. Boy, great feed from Steve Carew. Away there by Matt Williams, but taken back by Kleisinger. Back to timer to Fabian. Wayne shoots. Chubak just got a piece of it. Deep in the Air Force end. And a good forecheck here by Niagara. Forces a turnover and a save. And a save by Torf again. McKenzie. Pass intercepted. Niagara comes right back on the attack. There's a shot saved by Torf. And he leaves a gigantic rebound. But it's cleared out by Air Force. This is DeLauro going the other way with Scott Holm. And Holm tries to pull the trigger. Two periods in the books here tonight at Dwyer Arena. And Air Force leads Niagara by a score of 2-1. to one. A minute into the third, Niagara with the puck in the Air Force. And there's a shot deflected out front, beating Jason Torf 2-2. Out to the far point, sent in from behind the net. Centering pass, save Torf, knocked down out front, put back, score, Niagara. Lochner got in and got one past Torf. Back-to-back -back goals by Niagara in the first five minutes of this third period. Purple Eagles have a 3-2 lead with 15-19 left in the third. And Carey battling two defenders there. Holm still has the puck. Dumps it in behind for Carey. A salary pass out front. Scotty Holm drags a toe and pounds it home. Scotty Holm scores his fourth of the season, and it ties this game up. 3-3, 14-49 left, third period. And the Falcons turn, go the other way with it. Up the near, up the far side, this is Carew with a shot. Chubak makes the save, point blank on Carew. Fabian on the draw, back to the point, kept in there by Matt Williams for the purpose. He sends it low on the goal line. They crisscross, Williams picks it up along the wall. He will shoot, deflected off the stick of Zanette, back of the net, goal Niagara. Third goal of this period, takes a 4-3 lead with 8.02 left, third period. Wow. Back into the Air Force end by Niagara. This is Kyle DeLauro. DeLauro sets up, shoots two back. Somehow made the save there behind the net. Centering pass is broken up out front by Niagara. 27 seconds left in the game. Weisenhofer down the slot, and Chubak got a piece of that one, and it flips up over the net. Just missed there as it went over the crossbar. And Niagara is going to hang on by the skin of its teeth and beat Air Force tonight by a final score of 4-3. So the Falcons come up short against the 18th ranked team in the country in Niagara, who, who has yet to lose, I believe, in, in Atlantic hockey competition so far this season. But Frank, uh, Dave Toller told me after that game, one of the most exciting games he's seen. In, 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 he's been able to watch your team play in quite some time. I, I just took, took the emotion out of it and uh, took my, my blue and silver off, and I just look, tried to look at it objectively afterwards. And I'm going, and I, I went to Dave Burkholder, and Dave's a, a heck of a great guy. And he's a, a very a great coach and, and a great person, and um, he, he's always a gentleman in in uh, victory and defeat. And let me tell you, we've had uh, our share of, of close wins over him over the last few years. He's always uh, classy. He's always a gentleman. He always says it the way it is. And uh, I had to t I took the same road in this one. I'm going. Anybody that was watching that, and it was on locally on Time Warner Cable. Anybody that was watching that game, I can't imagine there was a better game that was played in the country. And uh, we had a two to one lead going into the third. And um, we knew, like we knew, like don't think we went out and sat on it. We knew, and I told the boys, if you're going to beat Niagara, you're going to have to win this period. You're going to have to beat them this period. And um, again, uh, uh, give the devil their due. They came out and, uh, and they won the third period. And uh, as a result, they won the game. Um, uh, but, it, but it was an exciting game. It was a, it was a, a physical game, but a clean game. That's, what, that, that's how his teams play. And... Uh, um, I, you know, you talk about, you know, it sounds like you're liking your team better. You know what? Like, you know, be honest with you, there was a, there was a time where I, we weren't a team. I say I, I like to say I didn't like my team. Didn't like my team. We weren't a team. We were we were we were a mess early in the year for whatever reason. And uh, uh, the guys uh, have put all that behind them, and uh, they're on the same page right now. They're dialed in. They're focused. Um, uh, this second half of the year, I, like I'm looking forward to the games. I was not looking forward to the games, not with what I was looking at during the week. It, it was lifeless out there. There was, it was just, it was, 
it was painful. And I don't know how those things happen sometimes, but they do. And if you have good people, um, they seem to find a way to work their way through those things. Uh, you know, it happens. Uh, if you don't have good people, then the ship implodes and, and you have a, a disastrous season. And that's why, I, like, frankly, I, I'm not gonna, I just can't give up on this season. Not when I, not when I see what I'm seeing. I, I, we, I see uh, some guys, a bunch of guys on the same page, fighting, battling, and uh, I can't imagine that uh, um, if we stick with it, that's not, that's not going to translate into some wins in the second half of the season. And uh, and and at the at, and at the very least, it's going to translate into win. At the very least, come playoff time. We will be, I'll guarantee you, we may be going on the road, I don't know, right. we, but we will be the team that people are going, we don't want nothing to do with those guys, you know? <laughs> Which is your uh, goal. Yeah, I mean, that's, but that, that's where we're at right now, and uh, it, it is what it is. Uh, the Niagara game, uh, you know, live, live and learn, it, tough game. Toll said it best, you flip that score, which you could. Yep. Shots were a difference of three, I think we had the more, I think we had more shots than they did by three. I mean, it was a it was an even Steven type game. You flipped that score, and, and were you for it? You know, I mean, and and I've never been one to coach the scoreboard. Um, it is what it is. And and uh, sometimes sometimes you uh, sometimes you play bad and win. Remember the RIT game? Right. Yeah, we were awful, mm-hmm. awful. Right. And somehow we won the game because on a great individual play by Steve Crew, we were right. awful. And uh, I told the guys that. Told them after this game with Niagara, you know what, you got nothing to be ashamed of. You know, next time we're not going to let that third period lead get away. We just won't. Most definitely. Okay, so the Falcons return home, Cadet Ice Arena, this Friday and Saturday. Now it's a 7 o'clock game on Friday, 4 o'clock on Saturday because of national TV. And uh, guess what, the Army Black Knights. So, yes, the rivals are in town and always a great series. Well, especially Army this year have, have turned it around. They had a disastrous season last year. Brian, well, they went through kind of last year what we went through early this year. For whatever reason, they just weren't, and they had, you know, some some seniors. I mean, at like I don't know what the issue was, and uh, they got uh, they've got quality people just like we have quality people. And for whatever reason, it was a miserable year. I, I, I talked to Brian a lot on the phone about it uh, last year, and and uh, this year they're younger. They got a bunch of new guys in, but the attitude and the mindset's completely different, and um, and they're having a, a terrific year. Uh, they went in and. Uh, uh, Beat, uh, knocked off uh, uh, Robert Morris last week uh, on Friday, and Robert Morris, I believe, was in the top 20 as well. And um, we've got a we've got a very uh, very uh, competitive, spirited, spunky Army team coming in, and uh, um, we we got Air Force who's starting to play uh, more like we're capable to capable of playing. I, I just I think the table's set for just an awesome series. They're playing well. We're finally getting back on track. I mean, um, it, it, it should be exciting and, and, and a treat for, for, the, uh, for, for all the fans in our community as well as the military community. Yeah, most definitely. Get out there. Once again, Saturday, uh, Saturday will be the 4 o'clock game because of TV, but Friday, 7 o'clock as normal. We'll see you out there, and we'll bring you the highlights between the Falcons and the Black Knights next time we see Frank. We'll see you then.